I want to show you all something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I have my Feel Free Mokin 10 V2 here, and I recently received the Mokin 10 Tri Plate from Yak Gadget. So I'm a Bixby brand ambassador, and I fish tournaments, the local tournaments here uh, in Virginia, with the Bixby unit. And of course, you can't fish right now with two motors on but you know if I'm out just fun fishing or you know doing anything like that um, I can have two motors um, I'm not in a tournament setting it's perfectly fine to do so what this tri plate allows you to do is mount several different options I mean Yak Gadget makes a few things out there that can fit this so in this case I'm gonna have the Bixby power pole mount that just has your standard four holes there. And then you can also utilize other power pole pattern accessories. So in this case, I'm going to go through the steps of mounting this new tri-plate to the back of the Mokin 10. Now I did have the beaver tail rudder on here. You will have to take that off because it does come with these mounts that will go on the back of of your kayak there and that rudder is going to get in the way so we're going to have to figure something else out with you know steering if we want to keep our foot controls and we can address that after we've got the plate mounted on so let's go through the steps of doing that if you purchase this tri plate from yak gadget you're going to get several things so you're going to get some screws here so that you can attach these mounting pieces to the top of this tri-plate. You're going to get, uh, let's see, you're going to get some T-nuts with the hand-tightened, you know, uh, nuts that go on top of that. And then you're going to get your, your hardware uh, that's going to close this down on the back of the kayak here. And that's it that you're going to get with, you know, with this. You've got two mounting places up here. Um, I would recommend, and I know there's a bunch of other ways to do it out there, but if you do have a feel-free kayak, I would recommend getting these Yak Attack Unitrack adapters. They are a bit costly if you buy, um, I want to say it's maybe a six-pack or four-pack, but... I have switched everything on my kayak to these, and I will probably never use any other thing because these are just, they just work. So, now I've noticed these pieces are a snug fit for these two areas here. So, just know that you're going to have to use some force to put those in. But in my case, I want these openings to go towards the back so you can easily access them and everything so what i would do or what i would recommend is make sure when you're putting this together you know you're putting that in the correct way so one's going to go there and then the other one's going to go on the other side so i'm going to go through the process of doing that all right now i have both of them on so that's what it's going to look like i have not screwed them down yet but for this, I'm just going to set it in place. All right. <clears throat> now I will take my screws. And just place them in the four slots here. And then start tightening them down. Now that we have these screws flush with the top of this tri plate, what I'm going to do is take these uh, feel free or Yak Attack Unitrack adapters and place it over top of these T nuts here and then slide it into the track. And then we're just going to put it back into this, this slot here. All right, so just make sure everything is still lined up. And JT does a great job with developing these to fit 
I mean, exactly how they're supposed to. So you can start hand tightening these down. You can already see without even uh, clamping this onto the bottom, I mean, it's already pretty sturdy by itself as far as lifting it up. Now, to secure it even more and make sure that it's not going anywhere, we're going to go to the very bottom and use these bolts and these hand tighten uh, nuts just like we did with the top there. I'm going to place one on either side or on both sides. And you can start the process of hand tightening that down. And it's slotted up top, so that's nice that everything you see here can be done on the fly. I mean, Everything is just hand tight. You know, you don't need a tool for anything. So that's the nice part about this. If you wanted to take it off, you didn't want to, you know, use it. It's extremely easy to take off there. Hand tighten this side. You can see there. I mean, it's that's not going anywhere. Um, as my Bixby battery slides down. Yeah, that's that's not going anywhere at all. Now you see back here, you will have. You know, you will have to figure something out. If you're planning to use a rudder, I'm going to either use the pole steer from Bixby or I do have the Vibe rudder that I'm going to see if it'll work back here. So we'll, uh, you know, kind of leave it here for now and then decide how we're going to continue the rest of this.